Hi guys. So this is going to be a quick how-to video on your phase change simulation models. So the first thing I'm going to do is walk you through how to use our FETLAB uh, phase changes simulation. So of course the first step here is going to be opening up uh, the simulation itself. So all you need to do is click on this link uh, and it will bring you directly to the simulation. As you see in the decorate, uh, decorations. In the directions, uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is choose the phase changes option. So we don't want states, we actually want phase changes, so I'm just going to double click to open it up. So now what I'm going to do is simply walk you through uh, this screen, how to use the simulation, um, and how to do the things you need to do uh, to collect the data. So over here in your right hand corner, you will see the different types of atoms and molecules. Here is where you can actually select uh, the type of atom or molecule that you want, so you will choose uh, which one you're going to use based on the directions that are given. Over here is where you can choose uh, the unit for temperature that you are going to be using. So uh, K stands for Kelvin. We are not accustomed to using Kelvin, so we are actually going to be using Celsius. So you also want to make sure that you are changing your temperature over here to Celsius. Now, uh, over here, you are able to actually uh, pump in more molecules. Uh, to this chamber, but we are not doing that. So I would say just leave this alone. Um, here is where you are actually gonna be able to add uh, or remove thermal energy based on what it is you wanna do. So uh, when you do need to add thermal energy, you're simply going to click and drag this uh, little cursor up to heat. And as you can see, the fire will come up. That's telling me that I'm adding heat into this chamber uh, and you do need to hold it. So if I release, uh, it is going to take the heat away, so in order to have that heat applied, you do need to hold it in that position, okay? Um, a couple of other things here. Uh, up here is your pressure gauge, so you can see as things change, uh, the pressure also will change, uh, and I will read that pressure up here at the top. It is given to us in ATMs, which is atmospheres, which is the unit that we need it in. Uh, down here is the pause button. Uh, this is going to be very helpful for the part where you need to take screenshots uh, or for if you wanna collect all of your data uh, in one felt swoop, uh, you can pause, collect some data, record what you need, and then hit play again and pick up where you left off. One other thing to keep in mind, you cannot see it because my uh, webcam box is down here in this corner, but right in this bottom right hand corner where you see uh, me at the moment, uh, there is a orange circle with a little circular arrow in it. Uh, that is the reset button. So if at any time you do something uh, that you didn't want to do, you accidentally remove the lid, whatever happens, uh, you can click that orange button down there to reset. Um, and what it'll do is it'll just bring it back to the normal settings of when you opened the simulation. So now let's take a look at part two, uh, the simulation boiling points around the world. So of course, first step is always to open the simulation. So I simply need to click on that link and it'll bring me straight to my simulation. Now we want to let it load, which is of course taking a moment here. So here we go. Okay. So when it loads, it will look something like this. So up here at the top, uh, you'll see this little pin, and then it will tell you the location. So up here is where you find the location uh, that is being looked at. So up here we can see that here I am at the top of Mount Everest in the country of Tibet. Here uh, in the middle is where I'm given my altitude. So altitude just meaning the height above sea level. I'm given the altitude in the units of meters. Down here, uh, is where I will be given the temperature of the water in degrees Celsius. So now, how we wanna work uh, this simulation is we are going to go to the altitude that we want. So let's just say I will start here uh, at Death Valley, USA. I know I'm in Death Valley, USA because I looked up here uh, at my location. It'll give me a little information about it. And I know my altitude is negative 85 meters. Now, all I need to do in order to actually run this simulation and collect my data is hit this little play button. Now, once we hit play uh, and it actually loads, 
which seems like it's not because I'm trying to make this video. Here we go. Okay. Uh, what's going to pop up is this model of my atmosphere surrounding my water and the water that is being boiled in this pot. Over here in the blue square, you will see the change in temperature of the water. And over here, you will see these little uh, force diagrams that represent the amount of atmospheric pressure pushing down on the water, and then the vapor pressure of the water pushing back up uh, onto the surface. Now, once this simulation runs, it'll give you this little uh, timer up here so you can see that we're coming to the end of this. Once it finishes, it will stop. And what it will actually do is it will come over here and it will provide you the information that you need. So it will give you the atmospheric pressure uh, for the altitude that we are at. Uh, and then it will also give you your boiling point of water. So all you need to do is come up to the data point uh, for that given point uh, and collect your data there for your atmospheric pressure and the water's boiling point. So now in order to go from one altitude to the next, all you want to do is simply uh, pull this little green uh, toggle key here a little bit and it will take you to your next altitude. So after that negative 85, we're now here at 14 meters uh, and you will collect the data for all of the locations uh, in the simulation.